Here's a problem that I like very much. Let me first tell you what the problem is, and then I'll actually tell you why I like it so much. So suppose there is a rectangular table and an unlimited number of coins of identical size. Let's call them quarters. So we have an unlimited number of quarters. And we have two players who take turns placing quarters on the table. And they can place these quarters anywhere on the table whatsoever. Let me try and make them all appear the same size. And the quarters are even allowed to touch. And they're allowed to hang past the edge of the table as long as the coin doesn't fall. However, overlaps are not allowed. So coins are not allowed to be placed with overlaps. You cannot put one quarter on top of another. So that's not allowed. But outside of that, everything else is allowed. You can place the quarters anywhere on the table. And the question is, which player wins? Does the player who goes first win? Or does the player who goes second win? This is a game of strategy. The more formal formulation for the problem is to come up with a strategy either for the player who goes first or for the player who goes second that guarantees them a win. So that's your task, to come up with a strategy for either one of the player. Maybe it's possible for one, maybe it's possible for the other that will guarantee them a win as long as they adhere to that strategy. So that's the question. And here is why I like it so much. I like it so much because there's no arithmetic, there is no algebra, it's hardly a problem in geometry, although of course geometry plays a major role in this problem. And in fact, there is no structure at all. It's a complete free-for-all. The coins can be placed anywhere at all. There is no grid or anything like that. And I like it because it's representative of probably a lot of things in life, but in particular research in physics or applied mathematics or other natural sciences. Because we'll look out on our world and we see no structure at all. It appears to be a complete free-for-all. The world around us is very chaotic. But in order to describe it with mathematics or some other organized logical framework, we have to find some structure within that apparent chaos. And that's what we do on a daily basis as researchers. And that's what makes research particularly challenging, but also very creative and very enjoyable. So this problem is a microcosm of that experience. You approach this problem and you see no structure at all. In that way, it could be unlike any other problem you've seen before. You don't even know where to start. So you have to start thinking about different possibilities of what would even constitute a strategy in this case. How can you come up with a strategy if there are no numbers or grids or any pegs or any special locations? How do you come up with a strategy when it's a complete free-for-all? Well, it turns out that you can. And that's the beautiful part of this problem. You can think about it without any paper or a pen. You can think about it anywhere. And at some point you will come up with that strategy and that will be a fantastic feeling, I assure you. So I very much look forward to your responses on Lemma. And in particular, I'm very eager to see what strategies you'll come up with.